if you want to get shots like this with your action cam when you go sailing on your catamaran we're going to be filming uh, with the camera set to wide if you do go to super view it distorts the image quite a lot so your boat starts looking a bit bent but wide is enough to be able to get uh, the helm and the crew on the trapeze on both tacks using this mount. The criteria that we're looking at for this camera mount is it's the quickest to mount on your boat, it's the easiest one to make, it's the cheapest, in fact you'll probably have most of the parts kicking about either in your car or your trailer and it's security for your camera so you won't lose your camera. Let's make one. We're going to need two pieces of shock cord then we'll need a rope and then we're going to have a third line so how we're going to attach it is with carabiners these are small carabiners doesn't matter if they're like these captive types or not if you don't have carabiners you could use shackles or anything else or you could just tie it on but the carabiners is what makes it so fast three of those bad boys Okay, and the final piece that we're gonna need is a classic GoPro bracket. This is one of the longer ones, five centimeters long that way. This mount, I'm gonna be using to attach this GoPro session. Okay, so we're gonna start off taking our GoPro bracket and we're gonna attach the first carabiner through the top hole of the bracket here. Okay, so I've gone through twice there. Um, yeah, I might have stopped filming there a little bit because it was taking a little while to get that done. And we're just gonna have a small gap between the carabiner and the clip. We'll measure that once we're done. I'm gonna tie that using a reef knot distance between the carabiner and the top of there is three and a half centimeters the next part we're going to take our slightly longer rope and we're just going to pass this through so this is going to be above where the camera is going to sit like this and then what we'll do is we're just going to tie a small bowl in in each end we're then going to take our elastic and you might find a more elegant way to attach the elastic to this other rope but i'm just going to do it using another bowl in and then the other end of the elastic is going to tie on to the carabiner can you see which way this is going. Maybe you can. And then we're gonna do exactly the same for the other side. Okay, so this is effectively the mount. Now all we need to do is attach the camera and put it on the boat. All right, so we're gonna take our GoPro session. Although at this stage, I've just spotted a mistake now the session does not have built-in stabilization and part of the thing that makes this mount work well is the built-in stabilization so we will actually be using this with the gopro hero 8 which has got very good stabilization so unfortunately this mount is not going to be so good for anything before the hero 7 which was the first one to have stabilization. And then for extra security, I always like to take a screwdriver, tighten up the screw there, and I've got an extra safety lanyard coming from the camera, which I will also tie on here, because although the whole mount is very secure, this plastic part is the weak part and if you really spooned it, 
that could break. Okay, so this really is so quick and easy to use. I'm gonna mount it with one hand because the other hand is holding the camera. So we just clip carabiner number one onto the central shackle. Then making sure we're taking the right side, we're gonna take the second one and that just clips on to the end of the bridle wire. And then you're not gonna believe it, we're gonna take the other one and clip that on to the other end. Now you'll see that the angle is slightly off here. We would just need to adjust this like this. But what you do find is as you're sailing along, this is going to move a bit, which is why that stabilization is important okay so here we have it on a hobie tiger we just had to improvise a little bit for where to hook the carabiner onto so i've actually hooked it onto the line that attaches the bow sprit and then you might have to on different boats just adjust the length slightly but because we've got this elastic it means that it has got a bit of range but what about if my camera doesn't have built-in stabilization. What am I supposed to do to get that sweet footage? Okay, so this is the bridle mount that I use, which uh, works without stabilization. Uh, of course, with stabilization, it's amazing. Um, these pieces I got off eBay. We've got a bolt going through here. We've got it bolted together here and then this is with the Hero 7, so it's actually got its own case, which stays attached there. And then for this one to go on quickly, I've actually made my own fast pin. I've basically put a small rope and then a piece of shock cord through the end of this pin. Um, and then what we're gonna do to mount this is it's just gonna go up to the bolt here, pin goes through, we pull that around, so that goes onto itself. Now that is secure, but then this extra bit of elastic, this is actually going to go through the safety line on the camera, and then I'm just gonna wind it around the whole mount, and then when it gets to the right length, that'll go on the pin as well. So there you go, that's how you do it. Very easy, very straightforward. Be back soon with some more on Joyrider TV. Uh, for more GoPro mounting ideas, check out this video just here.